Okay then, in this video we will do several things. So the first thing is we need to install so-called pillow library. So Django doesn't allow you to use image fields in models without installing pillow first. That's why we need to install a, pill, a library called pillow. So let's do that. And the easiest way to do that would be pip install pillow. And make sure that your environment is on. So virtual environment should be on. So once you click that, it should collect pillow and install it. As you can see, it has been successfully installed. Now we are ready to make our migrations because we finished setting up our models and we make migrations as follows py manage.py and then we first need to make migrations and once you write this one py manage.py make migrations you can here at the end you can specify your model in my case it would be culture heritage so let me make this one a little bit bigger. Culture Heritage Backend, like this. It's gonna then make migrations. So in other words, it's it creates a migration. Now we need to migrate this one into our database. Sorry, we need to migrate this one into, yeah, into our database. So, and we do that by using pymanage.py migrate. So this one then basically uh, migrates our migrations. So we can have a look into this file. So if we go there and then here. So that's our first uh, database model relating migration. So in here, as you can see, it's creating a table called category with the following fields. And then it's also creating a table called city with the following fields, etc. All right, and we have places. So now we have finished migrating our database models. Now, what we need to do is we need to add our models to the admin side. And we do that in the admin.py. So once you add your models to the admin.py, your models or database tables will be available in the admin side. So you can also read in here, it says register your models here. So you basically need to register your models once you create them. But before doing that, we need to do a small change in here. So as you can see, this one is importing admin, but this is not GIS admin. We need GIS admin. That's why we need to change this one to this. So django.contrib.gis import admin. So the difference between GIS and ordinary Django admin is in GIS one, you have admin, uh, you have map interface. So you have a, you have a map and then you can you can create your points or polygons directly on the map. Now we need to import our models. So we'll say from and then so they are in this one dot uh, sorry not dot it's just models.py but since I'm referring from the same um, from the from the for, uh, from the file that's on the same level it's gonna be dot models and then import and then you need to specify what models to import so it's going to be category place and then city so now we need to register our models so the first one will be admin.site register so the first will be category that's how you register your models it's very easy as you can see but now for place and city, I want GIS model admin because with GIS model admin, you will have a map interface. So let's do that. First of all, we need to create our custom admin model. 
So it's not admin model, it's just an interface uh, for our admin. So you will see that soon. So I'll say class. Let me finish this and I'll explain this in more detail. Custom geo admin. So then admin dot GIS model admin. And then we need to specify here keyword arguments. So let me pause in here for a second and explain what I am doing. So this is uh, GeoJango's admin site and this is GIS model admin that I am using. So this class has an attribute called GIS widget keyword arguments. So if you click on that, here are those uh, keyword arguments. So default longitude, default latitude, default zoom, etc. So I am using this GIS model admin. So now we need to specify our default zoom, default longitude and default latitude. So let's do that. So we can just copy this one. And then let's specify attributes. So attributes and then those attributes would be default zoom. You can either type in or you can go to the website I I just mentioned it to you, which is this one. And you can just copy default latitude and longitude. So first will be default longitude. It doesn't matter, but I like putting longitude first. So default longitude. And that would be in my case 13374. And then for the default latitude, it would be minus 24.06. So that should be the center of Australia. So that's how you specify your custom geo admin. And once you specify your custom geo admin, you need to register your models and use this custom geo admin. So, and the way we do that, like this, admin dot register, and then we need to specify our model, which would be place. And then here, class place admin. So, and we should use our custom geo admin like this. And then here you can, you can optionally specify some other attributes, but for now, this should be enough. So you just write pass and that's it. So I'll just copy this and then make it a duplicate. But this time around, instead of place, it's going to be city. So I'll be using the same uh, custom geo admin for both place and city models. And you can read more about uh, GIS model admin on this uh, on this page and also make sure that you are using Django version 4.0 or above because this uh, GIS model admin class is new one and it's not available in Django versions below or pre previous versions um, versions before uh, 4.0 so and you can read more about you know um, uh, G uh, Django admin uh, on the on the website on the official website. So that's it regarding this video, and I will see you in the next one.